Welcome to Landrianka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. Joanne, did you really go and get my hair cut and ask for it? <sighs> I'm flattered. I think she called it the uh, messy mop look. <laughs> is that what this is? Okay, I'm, I'm going with that. I like it. Maybe I'll have my own signature haircut. Welcome, we're going to talk about why you struggle, how to end struggle, and it is actually going to be this easy for me to share this with you. You can end struggle. You can do it today. This is part of my e-course. I'm going to show you one exercise. This may or may not work for you. It depends on what you decide. But you can stop it right now. I want you to take one situation and you can take a whole list of them. You can do this whole list. Take a situation where it's a current situation, past situation, an event, your life. <laughs> I want to remind you of something before I share what I want you to do. Life is the challenges, is the triumphs, is the joy, is the sadness. We don't believe that. We think that when things go wrong, it's bad. And everybody says that. Oh, I'm so sorry that's bad. Where did that come from? We were here to experience that. We don't accept it. Think about this. We don't accept the challenges, the very critical things that are our growth, that are critical to our spiritual growth, we don't embrace them. We think we're just supposed to sit here, eat bonbons, have a great job, have kids or whatever, if that's your thing, travel, have money, whatever, and if we're not getting what we want, we suffer. We're struggling because we say it should not be happening, and that's suffering. When you believe it shouldn't be happening, you see no value in it. This shouldn't, this is uh, what, where's it coming from? Shouldn't be happening to me. You know, I didn't deserve this. Blame, all this stuff. That's suffering. That is all coming from one place, right up here. Whatever you're telling yourself, you can change that. You ready to do that? Let's do it right now. I want you to take a situation, and I want you to write it down. You can pause this video, write it down. And I want you to think about what is the situation that I really want to change that I don't love. In fact, some of you may hate it. You should never hate anything, but I despise the situation. Every time I think of it, it's just anxiety or sadness or you're just so unhappy. Probably financial struggle, that's a big one. Relationships. Most of you guys out there that don't love yourselves, my goodness, what is that? How can you not love yourself? I love you. You're unconditionally loved by the one. That's the most important thing, right? I think that's the highest authority. So, all right. Do I have black under my eyes? Um, all right, so we're going to take that situation. And we're going to name it. So I'll take financial struggle. I'm tired of being broke and I'm, I can't hold down a good job. I don't know what to do to get a good job. I don't feel I'm qualified. I want to kick myself because I haven't really done anything to make myself qualified. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I hate this situation. How do I get out of it? I'm broke. I've got, I can't possibly blah, 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 blah. You know, you know the, oh, I should have brought a hacker T dog out my ego, our ego, I should say, the collective ego. So, the ego's talking, gar, gar. and then you're saying, okay, um, how can I look at this differently? You're going to have a tough time with this, most likely. Because if you're deep into struggle, you do not want to take responsibility. And you do not want to think good of something, especially if there's somebody else involved, right? Ah! What's that? Well, that's a collective participation in your experience here. So... If you can view life as one big experience, 
including the challenges, and all of it is meant for your spiritual growth. When stuff shows up, all it will be is part of another puzzle piece that you need to find, and when you click it in, you move on, and the picture starts to form. That's it. You don't stress because you can't find the piece and not, Doc, where is that? At least that's driving me nuts. Oh, here it is. It'll, it will show up. It always will show up. Not if you're freaking out. If you're freaking out about a situation, you'll never find that puzzle piece. You're throwing the, the puzzle all over. It's breaking up. You, you lose all the pieces you had in the first place. No, when you relax and you say, okay, this is exactly the way it is. I created this. It's meant for my my growth, my spiritual growth. Even if I don't believe that I ordered this, on some level you did, it's meant for your positive growth. Can you look at it that way? It really was. It's all good for you. So guess what? How can you view it differently? All right, so uh, I, uh, got my, I got broadsided. Did I tell you guys this one? At a stop sign, four-way stop. SUV plows through. I've got a little two-seater BMW. Hit me, pushed me into the other lane. There was another car. I don't know how I missed that car. Keeps going. I pull over. When I turn around, there were no cars. I'm like, what just happened? I get out of the car. There's nothing but a black mark on my car. I thought the whole, I'm like, oh my God, the whole side's going to be smashed in. So I could have said, oh, my car got hit. This lady ran the light out of, this other person didn't bother stopping. But, or, you know what I said? Oh my God. This really did happen because I, I, I got a police report. I didn't file it because there was no real damage done. I got a police report because this person, you know, hit me and took off. Or did they? <laughs> right? Maybe it was a reality shift. There were skid marks, and the officer saw them, so he did believe me. But otherwise, he probably looked at the car and thought, why are you calling me? You know what I said? Oh my God, what a miracle. What a blessing. Even if that whole side had been smashed in, if I walked away, my perspective, my view of that situation is, Thank you. Wow, I walked away. Can you take that car crash you got into, that relationship that broke up, that job you lost, that whatever it is, and say, I need a new perspective. What's my new view on this? I'm going to choose a new story so that that situation no longer prompts a negative feeling, which prompts negative uh uh, let's say, vibrations, frequencies, which is the quantum field, which keeps me focused on the negative thing, which is creating it more, right? Quantum field, man, you are now focused on negative, don't like this, fighting it, ah, and that's what you're creating. It keeps coming back. Why does it keep there? Because that's what you're focused on. You're struggling. As long as you struggle with that situation, you are actually manifesting it. And this is why so many of you can't figure out why you can't get out of the loop. It keeps coming back or you can't get out of the situation. New opportunities aren't really showing up. It's because you're focused on the pain that you're feeling on the situation because you don't see the value in it. What's the value in the situation? What's that new story you're going to tell yourself? Can you do this? Yes, you can. I walked away from that car. You know what? I need to be more, more diligent. Or you know what? Sometimes you just experience something to just make you feel like you're alive. I just saw something on television on the Weather Channel. I love the Weather Channel. Um, a woman was went into the woods with her dog to release her husband's ashes. She's heartbroken. She got lost for a week. She's 70 years old. Her and the dog didn't eat her. She didn't even have water with her. Didn't have food or water for a week because nobody knew she was out there. A week out in the wilderness, this woman's out there, got lost because she put her, was putting her husband's ashes out there. She said she's never been more alive. She got broke past that, that sad, that grief that she was feeling for her husband, and she was feeling so fortunate to be alive. So she could say, oh my God, that was so stupid of me. There's a reason it happened. In those seven days, 
brought her to a completely different reality in her life. What a miracle that was to feel so alive, to say, oh my God, I am still here. I better start living my life. I'm lucky I survived that. Wow. And next time I'll tell somebody <laughs> before I go into the woods by myself. <laughs> Right? There's a lot of different lessons to be learned always. Take the situation and name all. Name them all. Go through your whole list. How can I see this? This is my new perspective and write out the new thing. Thank you. What a blessing. Oh my God, I got this, you know, whatever disease. I'm holding in anger. I need to release it. I'm doing this. Oh, I'm, I'm going to release it. I created that. <gasps> That's my new perspective that... I don't have to, I don't have to experience that anymore. You release it and darned if you don't get well, right? Keep doing this, keep going until you start to lighten up and cut those cords. I tell you, I call my telegrams, open those telegrams, read that lesson. What's the lesson? This is happening. Oh, I don't want to read that telegram. Read it. It's not so bad. Okay. Here's what's going on. I need to correct this. I need, what am I supposed to learn from this? Not, I don't want it, I don't want it. You have them all piling up and pretty soon you can't even move in your house. You got so many telegrams. Open them up. Face them. Wow. All right, I'm, I'm self, I've been selfish. I've been thinking about myself. I'm judgmental. I've been judgmental. Wow. Why am I losing friends? I know somebody's doing that. Maybe I better look at how I'm treating them, right? Maybe my anger is coming out, and I don't mean that. Maybe I'm a good person, but you know what? Maybe my anger is and frustration is coming out, and these people are picking up on it, and I'm losing friends. You know, maybe not. you don't mean to do it, but look, at, look deep into that. We're all human beings. Be okay with that. You're not going to be acting like some perfect angel that you are. You'll be doing that short, shortly enough. Right now, you're here on this planet. You are a human. Be that best human. So let's open the telegrams. Put in the new view, the new perspective. You're going to flip over. All your energy is going to shift. You're going to start opening up to your opportunities because now the universe says, okay, you got it. You got the lesson. All right, let's move on to something else. You're grateful. Oh, we're not focused on the struggle. We're not focused on the negative thing. You now see it as something positive. You go up here to this beautiful place. Hey, if Christ can say, you know, forgive, forgive them. Oh, there's my Halloween animators going off. If Christ can forgive us for being such jackasses, and doing all these horrible things to each other and him, I think that we can manage to find the good in every one of our experiences, our challenges. Let's get busy. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Watch what happens when you start to do this. You're going to get miracles. I'm getting you guys are writing about all this stuff. It's blowing my mind. Things that you need right down to almost the dollar show up. This is what's going to happen for you. It's called releasing. It's, ex it's, it's connecting to the highest frequency. It's resonating with light and love. And there are no problems there. Blessings to you, my friend. Abundance, peace, joy, and love. Namaste.